You know, if you're uh, sitting at home because there's not much else to do, you can check the weather app before maybe you get out for a little fresh air. And if you check it right now in between the newscasts here, you know, check it right now because we're on. <laughs> but yeah, maybe a little bit later. Uh, you'll see that there are some rain chances this evening. So there is actually some rain in the forecast. A little bit of good news. Uh, may not be widespread rain everywhere, but there are at least some, a few good little showers out there. You notice the rain chances continue all through the night. But notice temperatures too. We go from the 80s right now and at 6 p.m. through the 70s and then into the 60s tonight. I think a lot of places will fall into the 60s late this evening, especially in Star County and Hidalgo County. It may take a little longer in Cameron and Wilsey counties. But the cold front is on the move coming into the valley now behind the front. Temperatures already falling to the 70s right along the front and then 60s right behind it. So it is going to be cooling off tonight with lower humidity through at least part of the weekend. We won't get the really chilly stuff where it's colder in North Texas. That's staying away, but a cool down that is still short lived. We're talking basically tonight, Saturday, maybe Saturday night, and then temperatures start to warm up pretty quickly. It looks like on Sunday again, you know, it's not the most impressive radar, but there are showers out there at least for a change and a few little uh, I call them moderate showers kind of building up all along and ahead of the cold front coming in. So we zoom in and you can see there are a few showers uh, dotting southeast Hidalgo County right around Mercedes and even toward the border of Cameron County, which is this black line right there. So should see this trend continue this evening. Might even have, have a couple flashes of lightning uh, this evening, but we're not expecting severe weather. But toward the north, the heaviest showers right now right around Lasara and just west of Raymondville building up. You could maybe get a good quarter or a half an inch of rain here out of these showers. But I think through the evening hours, just watch the skies or if you're outdoors, there could be a few showers, maybe a thunderstorm. The risk of severe weather, though, is mainly to the north and very small, kind of centered around the Corpus Christi area this evening and tonight. But anywhere in this other color shading is where there could be a mainly a non severe thunderstorm. Again, a cold front moving through this evening, kind of slowing down as it gets toward the coast. But a possible shower or storm this evening and tonight, you know, it is still not forecasting widespread rain in every location or any widespread heavy rain. But overnight, there could be a few more showers, maybe even a flash of lightning in the nighttime hours. Saturday, if you wake up early, there could be some showers around and clouds. I think later in the afternoon, the rain chances continue to fade, so you may be pretty dry by Saturday afternoon. But with the clouds around, probably won't warm up very much. We're talking mainly in the 70s, maybe even stuck in the 60s in some areas most of the afternoon. You see, by tomorrow night, we're still mainly dry in the evening hours, but I think temperatures start to turn around on Sunday. So your weekend looking cooler 70s on Saturday. But again, the farther west you are, Star County, Western Hidalgo County may have trouble even getting above 70 in the afternoon. It is a much cooler day everywhere. And then by Sunday, we start to warm back into the 80s, some clouds in the morning, then partly sunny skies in the afternoon. Then after that, temperatures are going back up again. So the first one five Accu weather seven day forecast cooler for about a day and a half. 70s tomorrow, clouds, maybe a shower. Sunday, we break out into a little sun by afternoon, but then the 90s come back near 91 on Monday, and then the mid 90s. I imagine next week we'll see a temperature range from about 90 or so in Brownsville to about 100 in Star County most days next week. It is looking quite hot, sunny, and dry Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday for sure. We'll keep you updated here in your first 1 5 forecast throughout the evening. Dina?